All right, so I've got this guy here, and I want to give him a kind of a Hawaiian shirt. So I'm going to make a pattern for that. When I recorded this, I hadn't actually made very many patterns, certainly not recently anyway, so I'm pretty rusty here. But I want to give you a rough idea of what it's really like to make patterns and use them. As with most things, you learn what works by trial and error, not just by watching a couple of tutorials. So I create a square canvas, 500 by 500, I think will be sufficient. And I get a grid going here, and then I set up some guides in case I want to turn off the grid, and I'll still have these guides. What I have in mind here is a pattern of big tropic leaves, like palm tree leaves or something. So the first thing I have to do is just draw one, and I never really thought too much about big tropical leaves before, so I wrestled with how to design that for a little bit. Now that I've got something I'm satisfied with, the next step is to map out a pattern. And I tried duplicating the layer and positioning it. And right now, the only thing I'm certain of is that I have to use these grid lines to align each of the instances somehow. And so I wrestled with that a little bit. And finally, I realized I was being very random in my approach. And that is not how you do it. The whole point of making a pattern is to focus on either the sides here or the corners here, or both, covering all eight points. Now I'm registering the leaf so I can bring in multiple copies and, and I'm paying a great deal of attention to the grid as I place these images at the corners. Now I convert the layer to image material, resize it to one quadrant, and it's basically perfect, pretty much what I wanted, or at least what I expected. So I rasterize that and register it as a pattern. I go back to the other project, and then I bring in multiple instances and map the pattern to his shirt. And the biggest epiphany here I had was that making such a sparse pattern for this shirt was basically a waste of time. I could have just used the single tropic leaf material to make this, but you live and you learn, and it's pretty cool how slick I was not having to make any corrections at the testing phase. And let's say I want to apply this pattern to something more appropriate, like uh, the side of this truck, for example. Now you can see how a pattern like this makes it a lot easier to add uniform decorative touches to your environments. And once you get familiar with making patterns, it gets much easier to make them. For example, even though the results here were perfectly fine, I went about it the hard way for sure. But by spending time on it, I learned a few things. And the truth is, I actually needed to remake this pattern all over again to do the truck demonstration. I made it look like I just grabbed it again, but that's the magic of video editing. The long and short of it is that I went ahead and drew this truck and everything only to find that I got rid of the pattern. I only had the single leaf image material, but I took a deep breath and having just recently wrapped my head around this, I rebuilt the pattern with ease following these simple steps. I put one leaf in the center of the canvas and another off to this corner. Then I selected this part and I slid it over to this side, and then I selected this part, and I slid it up top. It's super easy, actually, and I'll spend more time talking about it in the next video. So y'all come back now, you hear?